World first research has sparked new debate about the effectiveness of Queensland's proposed lockout laws. Thousands of people were breathalysed before they went out to pubs and clubs and the results shocked even them. We've seen plenty of examples of how nights end badly. Now an insight into how they start. 20% of our people had no idea what their blood alcohol level was. With the help of police, researchers from Griffith University studied 3,000 people as they arrived at popular party spots. 80% said they'd already had more than a few drinks, an average of four for women, six for men. That's what they're guessing. So my guess is we can we can up that four and six to probably five and seven. In Brisbane, 71% had a positive blood alcohol reading averaging 0 0.07. On the Gold Coast, 82% started their night out on an average of 0 0.08. Operators have had enough as well by way of what presents at the front door. Preloading is definitely an issue. The Attorney General says one of the answers is tougher lockout laws. We know that it reduces assaults. It seems that it's more a cultural issue that people are actually um, coming out drunk. Police support the proposed lockout laws but will continue their work with researchers, this time looking at how intoxicated people are as they leave nightclubs. There's evidence when last drinks are called earlier, people go out earlier. We've seen a reduction in preloading interstate. But similar laws interstate also forced some venues to close for good. Amanda Abate, 7 News. Live now to Patrick Condren and Pat, the Premier and her ministers have blitzed the state selling their lockout laws. Uh, yes, Bill, from Cairns in the far north down here to Brisbane, a steady stream of pollies fronted the cameras today. First out of the blocks was Attorney General Yvette Darth with Police Commissioner Ian Stewart and various tourism representatives in tow. Then Treasurer Curtis Pitt popped up in Townsville and the Premier and her State Development Minister Anthony Lynham, a former facial surgeon, in Mackay. Now, they were all out and about today trying to convince not just the voters, but their fellow MPs to support these controversial lockout laws when they're debated here in Parliament next week.